Dave Shapiro, one of the key leaders of the AGI revolution coming our way and who I am honored to partner with, recently shared this in-depth data-driven piece on X. I've talked with him about it, studied it, and I wanted to break down the truth of what we're facing as we approach an accelerating age of technology and AI. Ready? Hey, if we haven't met, I'm the digital clone of Julia McCoy, founder of First Movers, an elite AI consulting firm that provides real solutions to companies, organizations, and work professionals that want to be first movers in their industry. To get ahead, book your strategic consulting call at firstmovers.ai forward slash consulting. All right, onto the topic. Let me tell you about two competing truths that are simultaneously happening right now with AI advancement. Truth one, we have more time than the doomsayers think. I'll share why in a full breakdown of Dave's findings. Truth two, the 2% 2 who get ahead now will corner the abundance in ways we haven't seen since the industrial revolution. Here's what nobody's talking about clearly. The bottleneck isn't intelligence or even basic robotics capability. It's economic scale and deployment. Okay, the real timeline. The next 36 months, 2025 to 2027, will fundamentally change everything about knowledge work and digital capabilities. But the full vision of a post-labor economy, that's 30 to 50 years away. Let me break this down by timeframes. 2025, we will see the automation cliff for knowledge work. Autonomous agents will execute complex tasks that previously required human intelligence. We'll see the first deployments of agent swarms working together to solve problems. Fortune 500 companies will deploy hybrid workforces where managers oversee both humans and AI workers. The KVM rule takes effect. Jobs that are done entirely through keyboard, video, and mouse start disappearing. In 2026, physical intelligence emerges. First-generation humanoid robots enter commercial markets. Advanced models cost around $80,000, with basic utility robots at $20,000 to $110,000. These will be expensive and limited, like the first iPhone, signaling a revolution to come. Critical breakthroughs in robot world models will allow machines to interact with physical environments. In 2027 to 2030, ASI arrives, but not full deployment. AI systems begin improving themselves without human intervention. The feedback loop accelerates AI development beyond human comprehension. However, there's a massive gap between capability and deployment. The question becomes, how long does it take to build a billion humanoid robots? In 2030 to 2040, we have the scaling era. Robot production ramps up significantly, but constraints remain. Rare earth metals for batteries, actuators, and sensors become limiting factors, even doubling production capacity every three years. We're looking at decades to reach saturation. In 2040 to 2060, global labor substitution finally arrives. We'll eventually reach full automation across most sectors. The transition will be uneven. Even, with some economies saturating with robots sooner than others. I believe the opportunity gap will create winners and losers. Here's where the 2% factor comes in. While full automation might be decades away, the companies and individuals who position themselves correctly in the next three to five years will capture disproportionate value. Think about this pattern historically. When automobiles emerged, it took 92 years, 1900 to 1992, to reach full saturation. Yet the companies and investors who got in early, like Ford and GM, created generational wealth. By the time cars were ubiquitous, the wealth had already concentrated. The same will happen with AI, but even more dramatically because, one, the technology moves faster than our economic systems can adapt. Two, AI capabilities compound exponentially while deployment scales linearly. Three, first movers can leverage AI to gain massive competitive advantages before others even understand what's happening. So, which jobs are safe for now? Several categories of work will persist for decades. One, skilled physical labor. Not because robots can't do it, but because there won't be enough robots. Two, high accountability jobs. 
doctors, lawyers, financial advisors, roles requiring licenses and legal accountability. Three, meaning jobs, creators, performers, athletes, spiritual leaders, roles with authenticity, premium. Four, complex relationship jobs, politicians, diplomats, negotiators, roles requiring nuanced human interaction. Five, says capital owners. Those who own the AI and robots will prosper enormously. Let's discuss the path forward. So what does this mean for the average person? If you're in knowledge work, you have a ticking clock. The automation cliff for your role could be one to five years away. You need to become an AI orchestrator who leverages these tools at an expert level, move into roles requiring authentic human connection and meaning, develop skills that will be in short supply during the scaling era. If you're in physical labor, you have more time, but should still prepare, focus on complex non-routine skills that will be harder to automate. Consider acquiring ownership stakes in automation through ESOPs, cooperatives or investments. Prepare for shifting demand as economics of certain industries change drastically. All right, here are the silver linings. Here are the important positives to this extended timeline. One, we have longer to adapt to economic disruption. Two, human bodies remain more abundant, portable, and often more energy efficient for years to come. Three, a catastrophic AI takeover is economically implausible due to hardware constraints. Four, we have time to develop better ownership models and policies for the transition. Let's wrap with the bottom line. The next three years will reveal capabilities that seem almost magical, but deploying those capabilities at scale will take decades. The real question isn't whether AI will transform everything. It will. The question is who will own the future it creates? Will we develop cooperative ownership models where benefits are widely shared? Or will those who position themselves correctly in the next 36 months capture most of the value for generations to come? That's the choice before us. And unlike the timeline for full automation, the window for making that choice is closing much faster than most people realize. The future belongs to first movers, but which future we build is still up to us. If you need help building your future, that's what I built First Movers for. Learn more about how we can help at firstmovers.ai. See you down the next rabbit hole.